Hey, good morning. Welcome to the book of Malachi. We're back again, and we're at chapter 3 and verse 7 this morning for our reading. Let's read it. Yet from the days of our fathers you have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, in what way shall we return? So we're following along here. We're talking about the covenant of Levi, how God has called out a people to purify them. He wants the priests to be upright and upstanding. The priests are indifferent, abstract. They're all over the place. They're distracted. They're not on course. And so we have this statement from God. You have always gone away. This is not anything new, says he. And you haven't kept these. And then, and yet, even though the people have, have always gone away, God says, okay, listen, I'll tell you what, just return to me. Just return to me. That's all it takes. And instead of saying, well, we'd love to do that. Instead of that, what do we have? In what way shall we return? You know, what are we doing wrong? How are we off course? How have we missed your purpose? What are we not doing that's, that's the right thing? And he's just been enumerating in these first two chapters things they haven't been doing right, and there's some more to come. They are oblivious. Every time he mentions an issue, they, are, they shrug it off. They don't care. They don't get it. They don't understand it. They don't seem to want to understand it. And so here we have... Uh, God's gracious call, return to me, return to me. Don't be like your ancestors. Don't be like those spiritual uh, fails that have happened in the past. Just start fresh. Just start now. Please just come to me. And what's the reaction is, eh, what do you mean? And he enumerates at each course all these questions, you know. You say this, and yet we don't know what you're talking about. And that's kind of the answer all the way through the book. God says there's a, is an issue going on here that's blockading our, your spiritual development. And they say, what are you talking about? We don't get it. And you know, there's a difference between not getting it and not wanting to get it. And here the problem with the priests in the time of Malachi is they don't want to get it. But God is so gracious, he's offering it to them anyway. Return to me, return to me, he says, and I will return to you. And in terms of application to you and I personally today, isn't this what we want? That we will return to him, that he'll help us to return to him, that we'll be completely given over to him, that we'll be able to trust him and let him work his good purposes in our life and for such a needful, a broken world. God's calling on us and he wants to use us May we not be indifferent like these guys that are saying, yeah, what do you mean? What's wrong? How is it that we're not these super saints that we think we are? But they're not. They're not. It's kind of like Laodicean church in Revelation chapter 2 and 3. In chapter 3, the seventh in a series of churches, they think they're rich and increased with goods, don't need anything. Hey, everything's just wonderful. We are doing great. No problems. No problems with church and state. No problems with materialism. No problems with sin. No problems with sexual sin. Everything in the church is great. That's the end day church. Oh, if that shoe fits, we need to be on our knees and return to him. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, you have outlined in your word where they departed in the time of Malachi. Surely, Lord, it applies to us as well. Help us to uh, return to you. Just return to you. It's so simple. It's a wonderful and simple request you're making of us, Lord. Put it in our heart to return to you. We just ask you to help us that way. Receive us and then take us stage by stage, step by step. Show us your pathway home. Lord, bless your people. May we respond in the way that brings glory to you, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, there's the call. Return to me, and I'll return to you. What could be more easy to understand? The fault isn't with him, it's with us. May God help you and I to return to him today.